Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here again with another Divi tutorial. And again, I have another tutorial related to the Divi menu module. So this one, we're going to show you how to make a vertical menu. So we're going to just have you know, the menu items stacked um, one on top of the other, and it will be like the full width of whatever container, row, column, whatever size they're in. You know, great for a sidebar, great for a footer area, I guess the header too. Um, but yeah, pretty simple actually. Um, actually creating the vertical menu is the very simple part, but then we're going to show you a bunch of extra styling to create like styling active menu item and just change some adjustments and stuff like that. All right, let's get started to show you how to do this. All right, so I have a menu module right here on the page and I have added a couple menu items. All right. So, you know, right now it's obviously horizontal. Uh, so we want to, we want to stack them and, you know, I want to show you on my screenshot. That's actually two of the things we're going to achieve here. Um, exactly like that. Those are actual screenshots. So, uh, let's go down here. Uh, let's see right here. Okay. So we're starting with adding a class, by the way, this tutorial is always linked in the description on YouTube. Anyway, so we're, we're adding this class PA vertical menu, right? We're going to add that because we want to target just this one in particular. We, we can have a bunch of different, you know, menu modules on our site. We don't want them all to be vertical, just the ones that we want to be. So let's, let's add this class, open the module, advanced tab, the first tab toggle here, um, right there it is PA vertical menu. So now when we add the CSS snippet, which is right here, that snippet is always going to be linked to that module. Okay. Just that module. All right. So anyway, we always tell you, you know, add it in your style, that CSS file of your child theme or, you know, in Divi theme option. Okay. So let's go ahead and copy this. I have this handy little button here, copy. All right. And then we'll go in here. I'm going to, um, in fact, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to put it in the page here. You should be putting it in your theme options or child theme. So like right here, when you go to Divi, then down here, theme options, right? You can go down here and go like this, paste it right there. All right, you're done. However, for me, I'm going to be showing you some things. So I want to do it like kind of live. Um, so you can kind of ignore how I'm doing it and just, you know, learn from it, but put it in the other places. So I'm going to use my Chrome extension user CSS and I'm going to paste it. And just like that, pasting the code, we now have a vertical menu and it's styled very nicely. Now there's a, a lot of code here, uh, and it's not all necessary. You, you may not want it to look like that. So don't be alarmed. You're thinking, well, I just want it to be stacked, <laughs> you know, right? In fact, I can do that very quickly here. What do you think of that? I'm down to two snippets of code and all we want, if, if that's all you wanted, the first two is what you need. The very first two. All right. And the reason I'll, I'll explain this. In fact, let's look at it. We're actually, you know what? You really only need the second one. The second one is doing all the work. It's taking the list item and saying display block. So we're taking one menu item and being like, okay, so instead of being in line, right? We want that to be a whole block. So in other words, rather than being in line where they just stack and fill in the space, it's going to be block, which means whoop, takes the whole space. The next one takes the next space down. Next one takes the next space down. Just like that, we've done it, you know? And the other things are just styling. So again, if you only want that, there you go, that second snippet. I'm actually going to put back the other one and take a look here. So I have it in a full width uh, column, but a lot of times you would probably have it like, like that, right? Like in a sidebar or like in a footer, something like that. So I'm just going to save that now. So what are we doing here? The first thing we're doing is taking the list items and we're re removing, there's a default 11 pixels of padding 
on the left and the right of every single menu item in Divi. That's fine. Keeps them nicely spaced. I, I'm removing that. The very first step there. Just removing that. The second one is, like I already said, we're just making them block. So we're making them full width and stack. That's that's the, the crux of it right there, right? Uh, and next we're adding some styling. So I'm adding some padding, a background color. That would be this uh, grayish color. I'm adding a border radius, right? To make the, the borders rounded to see that. Whoops, I just, there we go. Like if you wanted them rounded, right? And then the border color. Next is when you hover. So I have an opacity of one because normally there's like this annoying effect where it goes to like 70% opacity. I, I don't like it at all. So we have a hover effect, okay? And all we're doing there is changing the background color to green and the text color to white and the border color to green. All right, and then next is we're, we're adjusting that little icon. Normally the icon points down and you know what, that's fine. I mean, technically though, it would make more sense to point to the right. See that? Just a little thing we added. You know, you don't. You could totally remove that if you wanted. And then the next one is when there's sub menu, sub menus. <laughs> See here, when I go under about, here's a sub menu. Hey, there's supposed to be another one there. There it is. <laughs> Either way. Um, but if there was a, a anytime there's like a sub menu, the sub menu, well, you gotta adjust the icons. Anyway, that's what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so the next snippet is actually aligning the sub menu. Normally, the when you have a horizontal menu, then you have the sub menu below it, right? So the way it would work, the sub menu is aligned to the left, right under the item. So we want it to be aligned to the right <laughs> because we're, now we're having it vertical. We don't want that sub menu completely blocking everything. So we're moving it over a whole, basically think of it as moving it the whole menu item to the right. I'm probably leaning the wrong way here. Um, and there you go. That's what that's doing. The next is adding the arrow icon on the left. Totally optional, totally optional. I think it looks cool adding that arrow. That's all that's doing. And then when we hover, I'm moving it a little bit. Totally optional. Okay, next is uh, styling the icon. Well, okay, so we had this, we had to, we made the current page on here, which is, where is it? Right here, current menu item. We made the current menu item styling the same as the hover styling. So think about that. Make, it made sense to me to do that. The current menu is styled just like the hover. See that? Moved over just a little, you know, green and everything. And then at the end here, the last thing we're doing is actually, if you haven't noticed, there's no hamburger menu. Uh, and if we go on mobile, like a smaller size, we would be getting a hamburger menu here for sure. So if you don't want the hamburger menu and it makes sense that you would not in this kind of tutorial. Having a stacked vertical menu, well, you don't need to, you don't need to hide the menu anymore. It might work great, especially if it's in a footer or a sidebar or whatever, right? I mean, there you go on every single device. That's what that code there at the end is doing, okay? It's in a media query. So we're saying basically tablet and phone screen sizes. We want that menu to be open instead of you know, closed into a hamburger menu. All right, so I know that's a lot. If you want to just paste the snippet, that's all you have to do. Try to explain. I even tried to write out an explanation. It's it's a little hard sometimes to explain it. I try my best here, but that's it. And you can look. And by the way, I always leave comments here. See that? I, I comment every line of the code or every snippet of the code so that you know what, oh, like if you're like, well, I want to take a couple of these out. I don't need those arrows, right? So you're like, yeah, okay, I don't need the arrows. So you come in here and you're like, okay, I remove them. That's fine. Um, but you could read there in the comment says, add an icon to the left of each menu item link. So just like that, you know what it's doing. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And you know, be sure to share it around if you see people asking about it in like Facebook groups, wherever. 
I have a bunch of tutorials on the menu. I did one last week. I have another one coming up. And let me know if I'm missing any menu tutorials when you go there to our blog um, and then look under that category. All right. Well, we'll see you all in our next video.